first waiver priority I want to mention is Kenneth Walker. Now, for a lot of fantasy leagues, he's not on waivers. But in Yahoo, he's available in more than 50%. And if he's available in your league somehow, if your league mates were sleeping on him, Kenneth Walker is the type of player that you need to be picking up. Second round draft capital. Rashad Penny is out for the year with a broken fibula which he suffered during week five. In the meantime, Kenneth Walker, he had been ramping up his usage over the last few weeks. In week two, he had four carries, three targets. Week three, he had three carries, three targets. Week four, he had eight carries and a target. Week five, he had eight carries, but 88 rushing yards. He had a big break off play. Uh, near the end of the game, ran for a touchdown, and we saw what Rashad Penny was doing. <laughs> the reality is the Seattle Seahawks are not involving DJ Dallas very much. They're not involving Travis Homer very much. It's going to be Kenneth Walker's backfield, okay? And looking at his profile, he's got the speed. He was 98th percentile 40-yard dash coming out of Michigan State. 96 percentile speed score. This was a prime running back candidate. There were there was talk about, is it going to be Kenneth Walker? Is it going to be Brees Hall? I was in the Brees Hall camp for being the best running back in this class, but Kenneth Walker was in conversation for being the second best back in this class. And now in week six, he gets Arizona. And as we saw, Arizona did give up a lot to, to Sanders and Hurst, uh, Hurts this past week through the rushing game. So if Kenneth Walker is somehow miraculously available on your waiver wire, you need to be picking him up. The usage is going to be phenomenal. The talent is there. And the Seattle Seahawks are surprisingly one of the best offenses in the NFL. This is not what we expect from the Seattle Seahawks and Geno Smith coming into the season. I did tweet out back in July, July 15th. You can bookmark my tweet. You can find it. Geno Smith is not bad. And I mentioned some of the efficiency metrics that Geno Smith had. And now those efficiency metrics are being elevated because of the increased volume. Okay. This is not the passing volume that we saw from Russell Wilson last year. Instead, this is a down the field attack. We're seeing Tyler Lockett having boom, three boom games already through five weeks. And DK Metcalf, of course, also hitting the nuts on a few plays so with how good the Seattle Seahawks are playing and the opportunity and the talent that Kenneth Walker has, he needs to be the number one waiver priority in your league if he is available.